Hey everybody, good to see you again. Look, this will be short, so don't pass this video up because it may affect you, and not in a good way. Now I know this is going to be a bit off topic, but in my position that I'm in, I get more and more information about this. First, I've had a few friends that I have talked to about getting nailed. This kind of thing is happening right now and can really take you down. Just like this. Look at this from Fox News, ABC News, CNBC, CBS, and there's just, there's a ton more. Now, as I was saying before, people I know put it off and are now paying the price for not securing it. Now, one had their bank account cleaned out and had a loan taken out on their car. It's getting crazy. Now another one lost their home to this and there's nothing they can do about it. Not to mention all the malicious attacks and the ransom attacks going on right now. Now I've heard from many other viewers that were involved but did what I said to do in the past videos and were not compromised. Now look, there's a few things you can do and are recommended by the most top people in this field. Now first, use a two-factor authorization method when possible. Yes, it adds a few extra keystrokes, but many hacking programs won't go past the first round of author authentication. Authentication. <laughs> Anyways, next, when you're purchasing online, use your credit card company's virtual credit card number. Usually get those on your bank's websites. It's just a spoof number that they use that others can't use after. Now, experts also encourage individuals to secure their passwords and back up critical files to an external hard drive. And one of the top things they recommend, now I've mentioned it many times before, to get a good VPN for all your devices and make sure you turn it on. <laughs> I mean, people, they forget sometimes. And with a VPN, a lot of times you just turn it on and leave it and it works. Now, for those not familiar what a VPN is or what it does, let me quickly explain. Here, check this video I shortened up. I made it a long time ago, and I'll, I'll have a link to it in the description if you want to see the full video. Take a look. You won't be sorry. So first off, if you are not familiar with the VPN, what does it stand for? VPN is short for Virtual Private Network. It's a noun. It's a method of employing encryption to provide secure access to a remote computer over the internet. So what it means is it shields you from the bad guys on the internet trying to get into your stuff. Sup. And it shields you from your internet browsing. Along with if you're using a torrent to maybe get movies or you're watching movies that you shouldn't be watching, it'll not let others see you doing that. It protects you and your privacy on the internet. You should have one. Now they say Surfshark is a budget-friendly VPN service, but that doesn't mean they lack in quality and in service in any way. They're just lower priced. They also have a no logging info policy. Cue the statement. Surfshark respects your privacy. Therefore, we are committed to not process any data related to the online activity of our users. Surfshark is based in the British Virgin Islands, which does not require data storage or reporting. We do not collect IP addresses, browsing history, session information, used bandwidth, connection timestamps, network traffic, and other similar data. So what that means is they're straight up. They're not giving your stuff out. They're not taking your stuff and selling it. Any of that. They're keeping you quiet, keeping you safe. Now, Surfshark has 3,200 plus servers in 65 countries. A private DNS on every server and no logs policy. Now Surfshark, what I really like about them because I have lots of devices, they have an unlimited amount of devices that you can put their service on. So if you have one account and you have 200 devices, you can have that VPN on all 200. I don't know anybody else who does that. Now Surfshark also has a split tunneling along with the kill switch technology. Now what is a kill switch? It's a safety net in case your VPN connection drops. Your activities and sensitive data are never exposed. So it just shuts you off right there. Now Surfshark also runs the AES 256 bit encryption model for the, all their servers. There is no risk in trying this. If you don't like it, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's a usual you set and forget. <laughs> and it just works for you. If you don't think you need a VPN, it's your prerogative. Everybody says, I don't need a VPN because, you know, nothing ever happens to me. Until it does. 
There's a money-back guarantee. Look, I don't care where you get your VPN. Just get one. Yes, Surfshark is the one I choose, and I do have a link for a special on it. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Get one. The one thing you can do to help is please share this alert wherever you can because it could be your son, it could be your daughter, mother, father, brother that you could help to not get wiped out or at least say you tried. If this video is of value, please hit that thumbs up button, that like button. I appreciate it so much. And be safe because this stuff is only getting worse. Thanks for hanging with me and being part of this great community we got going here. We'll see ya.